I'm Dan Galpin. Welcome back to The Game Show. We're here today for Android in Play with three takeaways from the Google for Games Developer Summit. Number three, Android 12 for Games. Android 12 includes Play As You Download to get your users into gameplay in seconds. Game assets are downloaded intelligently in the background and all this happens without you having to make changes to your game. Android 12 also introduces Game Mode APIs to allow gamers to pick up performance profiles such as better battery life or performance mode. It's powered by a performance stack that allows Android to both communicate the player's preferences so you can adjust your game accordingly and intervene on their behalf with game mode interventions that automatically adjust the game. You can opt out with a manifest setting. Number two, Reach and Devices. Reach and Devices is a new view in the Play Developer Console that shows you the distribution of both your users and their technical issues across devices, including key ecosystem dimensions like OS versions, memory, graphics stack, and chipsets. This allows you to spot device optimization opportunities and set testing priorities for future releases. Reach and Devices is part of an improved Play Console experience, including new tools for ratings and reviews. Number one. Android Game Development Kit. The Android Game Development Kit, or AGDK, is a full range of tools and libraries to help you develop, optimize, and deliver high-quality Android games. It includes an array of C and C++ libraries to make it easier than ever to integrate your game with the best of Android, including foundational classes for activity and input combined with our existing frame pacing and high-performance audio libraries. As part of the AGDK, we're releasing the Android Game Development Extension to allow Visual Studio users to add Android targets to their existing builds. Well, I'm going to take advantage of our powerful profiling, debugging, and deployment tools, all without having to switch development environments. Speaking of profiling and optimization, AGDK includes a major update to the Android GPU Inspector Open Beta, frame profiling functionality. This works alongside the existing GPU profiling elements to help you fully understand any GPU-related issues. To help you further optimize, AGDK's Android Performance Tuner provides user telemetry to see how different parts of your game perform across different devices, including a new loading time function. So those are three takeaways. We announced lots more, including the Playing Integrity API, new commerce options, improved support for Android games on Chrome OS, and a new entertainment space for tablets. So check out the keynote and session videos to learn more. I'm Dan Galpin for The Game Show. Thank you for your support in continuing to build incredible games. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe.